All right, we all know how to add. All right, you just stack the numbers, you add, and if if a column is more than 10, you have to carry and all that sort of stuff, right? So the big question is, well, why do we have to carry? What's the point of that? And of course, there's a whole variety of ways to add where we don't really need to carry. But the rule that a lot of teachers give for why you have to carry when you're adding is, well, they say, well, you're only allowed to have one digit in a column, so therefore you have to carry the, the, the one. <clears throat> All right, so that's not a good math argument. So this video, I'm going to show you how to use a thing called number disks to make addition, make the traditional addition algorithm visual so that you understand why we need to carry the one. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to add 268 plus 147, and we're going to do it the traditional way. Uh, but I'm going to use those um, number disks to kind of demonstrate what is going on with that traditional algorithm. And we're going to start with a place value chart. So we've got our hundreds, tens, and ones, right? And I'm going to model 268 inside that place value disk, and my 268 is going to look like this. There's my 200. And then there's my 60, because I've got six tens. And then eight is going to look like that. So there is my 268, and that's what I've modeled over here. I mean, modeled over here, I've modeled 268. Now I'm going to model 147 over here as well. And so that's going to go uh, 100, and then there's 40, and there's 47. So there's our 147, and sure enough, that's what I was supposed to model. Now the idea is, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you what the work looks like on the left, visually, and how it translates to the algorithm over here. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna notice that we have 15 ones. How do I know? Well, here was eight right here, here's seven right here, 8 plus 7 is 15, and by the way, in a nice visual, I can see that here's 5, here's 5, that's 10, plus 5 more is 15. I intentionally draw, draw everything in that 5 group whenever possible, uh, just kind of honoring all the work that our kindergarten teachers did with their base 10, I mean, uh, with their 10 frames, right? So here, I'm going to, we know that we have 15 ones. Now, we've learned that whenever you have 10 ones, let me outline 10 ones, we have learned that whenever you have 10 ones, you can cash those in for one 10. So there we go. So those 15 ones equals one 10 plus five ones left over. In fact, we can kind of highlight that right here. There's our five ones left over. So what is that going to look like over here in our algorithm? Well, we know that 8 plus 7 is 15 because we saw that over here. And we ended up with an extra 10 plus 5 ones. So what is that going to look like in our long division, I mean our algorithm? It's going to be an extra 10 plus our 5 ones that are left over. All right. Now it's going to be time for us to add our 10s. Well, let's count up all of our 10s. We have six up here, plus four down here, plus one extra. So six plus four is 10, plus an extra one makes 11. So we have 11 tens. And remember, we've learned anytime you have 10, you can cash them in for one in the next column larger. So we have 10 tens, and we can cash those in for 100. So how, let's document our thinking over here in the algorithm. So when we added 1 plus 6 plus 4, that's over here, we ended up with 11 tens. And we learned that we can cash in some of those tens. We can cash in 10 of those tens, and we get an extra 100, plus we have a 10 left over. So what is that going to look like in our algorithm? We have an extra 100 and we have one 10 left over. 
And that's all this right here. In fact, maybe I should highlight the fact that we have 110 left over. And that's the extra 100 that the 10 tens cashed in to equal. Now let's take a look at our hundreds right here. And we can see how many hundreds do we have. Not a lot of work to do there. We see that we have four hundreds. So we're going to record that over here in the long division. And so our answer is 415 in the, I said long division, I meant algorithm. And so we have 415 in our algorithm. So let's take a look at what our picture looks like. Our picture says we have four hundreds. So let's write that down. We have four hundreds. We have one ten. And we have five ones. And so sure enough, our model, our visual model, matches the algorithm. So we know, or we have a high suspicion, <laughs> that we are right. And that's just one quick example of how you can use number disks in a place value chart to make the traditional addition algorithm visual, and it makes, uh, it makes it more sense as to why we need to carry. It's because 10 in one column can be cashed in to equal one in the next larger column. So 10 ones can be cashed in for a 10, or 10 tens can be cashed in for a 100. And we can continue 10 hundreds can be cashed in for a thousand. And this idea of this number disks in a place value chart can be used for any addition problem of whole numbers.